Unintentional falls are a threat to the lives, independence, and health of adults ages 65 and older. Although one in three older adults falls each year in the United States, falls are not an inevitable part of aging. There are proven strategies that can reduce falls and help older adults live better and longer lives. Well, joining us today from Martha Jefferson HealthWise is physical therapist Ann Knox to talk about keeping older adults on their feet. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. What are some of the most common reasons that older adults fall? Well, the way that we maintain our upright posture or balance is with information our brain gets from our vision, our inner ear, and the feeling from our feet. So if you have any disorders that affect that, like glaucoma, macular degeneration, or inner ear disorders that involve dizziness or vertigo, or loss of feeling in your feet, sometimes from diabetes like peripheral neuropathy, or from your low back, sciatica, those kinds of things, you're going to be more likely to fall. And then to complicate that is your overall condition. How fit are you? How flexible are you? How strong you are? Um, and those things are all play, play a part in that. And what injuries most often result from a fall? Well, from the minor contusions and sprains and strains, when we fall, we tend to throw our arms out. It's called protective extension. And when you land, if your bones aren't that dense, you could get wrist fractures. Also, when you fall in the exposed portion of your hip, you can get a hip fracture and then also head injuries. And you know, uh, falls are the sixth leading cause of death in the elderly. So how can older adults prevent falls altogether then? Well, you've, first and foremost is exercise. I mean, you want to maintain your strength and condition as best you can. You want to practice balance because balance is a skill and, and someone could teach you specific balance exercises. You want to look at medication side effects. You want to look at your environment. Things like putting on a light when you get up to go to the bathroom at night is very important so your eyes can help you balance. And lastly, if someone's recommended that you use a, an assistive device like a cane, use it because it really makes your balance better just right off the bat. Perfect. Well, some great information, some great pointers tonight. Ann Knox with Martha Jefferson Hospital. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. And for additional information on this topic, visit our web channel at WCAV.TV.